So what if instead of count, what if we, we only want to return a subset of data? Let's just say we've got these, this player object is really expensive, there's a lot of data inside it, I want to run a query, but really all I want to get from this query is just the name of the player. I don't need the rest of these bits of data, data. I don't need the team code, I don't need, don't need the contract until, I don't need the market value, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Perhaps the query is really, really expensive and it's going to take a long time. So I just want to make sure it runs as fast as possible and we get the result as fast as possible. And all I want is a name. So to do that, we can do something called a select. So again, let's just copy and paste that. So let's just return all the players. Okay, and do q.select name. And then what I want to do, this is going to, I want to do find, not count. And this is going to return results. Of the first player. So rather than looping through everything, I'm just going to print out some data from the first result that gets returned. I'm just going to trust the fact that some data is going to get returned. And then let's just print out attributes. Okay. So what this is doing is it's just going to, there's no constraint, so it's going to return all data. And I just want to now, in the response, just want to print out the position. But really, I've just said all I want to have is the is the name returned. So let's just see what this prints out. Now, I want to look at the real console because that's going to give us a bit more info. Let's clear this and clear this and let's hit run. Okay. So let's have a look at what's happened here. So position of the first player is this console log here. I then try to log the position, but I've got undefined. And I've actually then printed out the attributes of the player. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so the only attribute that got returned is the name, not the position. That's what we wanted. We only wanted the attribute returned. That's why we said q.select name. We only want the name to be returned. We want to save space in the response. We want to make it as fast a response as possible by making it return less quantity of data. So we only selected name. So now that we've done that, let's say we have done that. How do we actually, at this point, get the rest of the data? Let's just say, okay, I've changed my mind now. I then want to get the rest of the data. Well, what we can do is call fetch. So let me just get rid of that now. So what I can do is results zero dot fetch function okay then let's do the same thing let's print it out can do that and then let's clear and let me hit run okay so the first time we print the position of the first player, we got undefined, and that's because only the name attribute was returned. And then we called fetch, and then I printed out the position of the first player again. Here we go. And I printed out his position, central midfield, and I printed out the attributes, and you can see after this fetch function, all of the attributes were returned. So that's how you can actually get all of the attributes again, if you've used select, just to limit them out in the first place.